Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. I've decided to move off of the casting couch, which is covered in stains from something. I don't know what it is. And I've decided to be very holiday-focused. We can't say Christmas now. It's holidays, okay? We're diverse. We're diverse. Anyway, we got to talk about House Hack because I just watched a video of Meat Smoker, Meat Grinder, Meat Breath, Meat Spin Kevin shilling his house hack investment. He basically laid down what house hack is all about. And it doesn't take a very big brain. Like, I have a very big brain, obviously, and I have other big things as well. But it, it doesn't take a very big brain to figure out that house hack is not a good investment. So let's break down what house hack is. Basically, you put your money into it, Meat Smoker takes your money, goes and buys fixer-uppers across the United States, and then rents them out. That's house hack. Oh my God, what does that sound like to you? I've never heard of an investment where you pull your money together and you use that money to buy investment properties. Well, what other thing could possibly do that besides house hack? <laughs> Now, me, Kevin's selling point is he doesn't charge uh, management fees. He doesn't charge, like, upfront fees. Basically, there's no fees. since I, I guess Kevin just somehow is going to make money off of this just by buying homes because he doesn't charge any fees. Even the most low-fee real estate investment trusts, which are, you know, publicly traded baskets of properties that you can invest in, even they charge fees. But me, Kevin... He doesn't charge anything. It's just completely free, basically, to invest with him. You can't lose, right? Well, here's why House Hack is a terrible investment. Very simple. Think about what Meat Smoker does. What does Meat Smoker do? He smokes meat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's a YouTuber, okay? He makes YouTube videos. He maintains and develops courses. He does all this crap. He has an ETF that he manages. He has so many things going on. And on top of that, you're going to trust this one man, this one man, meat smoker, to go around the country, pay millions of dollars a year on his jet, which by the way, we're going to cover that in the video too. Pay millions of dollars a year, go around the country, identify fixer uppers, fix them up and rent them and just make a huge profit. You're going to trust that man more than you would trust, I don't know, Fundrise, any real estate investment trust, like the VNQ ETF, which buys a bunch of REITs and is insanely diversified and has a super low expense ratio. Why would you invest with one man? And even if Kevin is the greatest real estate investor in the world, and I'm not saying it's a scam, I'm not saying he's a terrible investor. The problem is his attention is divided amongst too many things. He, his primary, his, the way he makes money is YouTube and courses. That is the only thing that he makes money on. He doesn't make money off of investments. That's the sad irony of YouTube finance. He, makes, he loses money hand over fist on investments. I bet you his lifetime returns are probably negative. I'm not joking on his stocks and, and properties that he's bought if you add it all together, but we'll never know. But his primary income source is YouTube and courses, and that is, at the end of the day, going to be his primary focus. Why? Because it makes him money. What is Strongman's primary focus? Is it my YouTube channel or is it my full-time job that pays me decent money every year? Oh, that's right. It's my full-time job because my full-time job pays like five times more six times more, whatever, than my YouTube channel, okay? I'm going to focus on my full-time job, and maybe when YouTube pays me a lot, and it's highly profitable, maybe at that point I'll focus more on YouTube, okay? But for now, no, I'm going to focus on the thing that makes me the most money. Kevin can only survive with YouTube. That's his focus, okay? House hack, it, even, if he, even if it seems like he's spending a lot of time on house hack, like he's filming himself on his jet, and I'm sure he's doing, I'm sure he's going out there and buying properties. That's fine. But he's, the, the priority is YouTube. So you cannot, def, you cannot build something like house hack and divide your attention amongst so many things. You are setting yourself up for failure. It's the way it is. There's a reason I don't edit my videos. Because if I did, 
I wouldn't have time. My YouTube channel would fail. That's why I sit on the casting couch or I don't even film myself because I don't feel like putting myself together because I don't have time. I, I, I can't do everything. I'm, I'm one person. And me, Kevin, is busier than me. Okay, I mean, I've got young kids, so maybe not. But, <laughs> but Kevin is busier than me. He doesn't, he doesn't have the time, okay? And at the end of the day, even if he did have the time, why would you trust one guy, one guy, when you could buy a highly diversified real estate investment trust? Because when you put your money in house hack, you're not getting a dividend like immediately. You're not getting any guarantee of capital appreciation. You're not going to really know what the value of your investment is. Everything is unknown because you're just basically giving him his money. It's highly illiquid. It's highly illiquid. You can't just put your money and then take it out. You can do that with other real estate investments. If you buy a real estate investment trust, a publicly traded REIT, or you buy like V&Q, which buys, I think they buy all the REITs in the United States. You can own every REIT in the United States at market cap weight. If you buy that, guess what? You get dividends. You get hopefully capital appreciation. You know the exact value of your investment at any one time. Go look at the ticker symbol. You can cash out of it in a second. The VNQ ETF, you can just sell it. Just sell it in two seconds and boom. You know, the money settles, whatever. You got your cash and you're good. Your money is stuck with Kevin. So uh, sell me on house hack. I, I, I don't see it. Like, I, it's not, I'm not calling it a scam. There's some losers out there that call it a scam, like uh, Chris Norland and uh, other people, probably Scott Schaefer too. They call house hack a scam. And it's like, it's not a scam, okay? <laughs> Just because uh, there's a grifter running an enterprise doesn't mean it's a scam. But it is a garbage and it is a god awful high risk investment. Now, can house hack work out? 100% house hack could work out. But you have to consider the amount of risk you're taking for the potential future reward. How much risk are you taking in trusting your money into an illiquid investment with one man that has his attention and, frankly, incentives and priorities focused somewhere else? You're taking an inordinate amount of risk compared to the potential return. Whereas if you buy a real estate investment trust. You buy O, oh, bro. The O, oh, make your O oh, face. Uh, or you buy VNQ. Or you even Fundrise. I mean, even Fundrise, you know, you, you'll probably see dividends and all that stuff. You don't get anything with house hack, house sack, except hoping that Meat Smoker will somehow take his company public in 10 years. <laughs> so Kevin, I love you, man, but just being honest with you, get rid of the jet, scale back on house hack, focus on your YouTube channel, save a bunch, of, focus on your YouTube channel, save a bunch of money instead of blowing it on garbage. And then when you have 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars actually saved up in real solid assets like a total market index instead of Tesla stock, then you'll have the financial wherewithal to launch house hack and focus on that without having to hustle and focus on YouTube, which I know is your true priority because that's what pays your bills. That's what pays, just like my job pays the bills. It's not YouTube, does, I mean, I guess YouTube does pay some bills, but it doesn't pay it the big bills. <laughs> so that's my thought. It's a horrible investment. Don't do it. And uh, happy holidays. You know, we got the not Christmas tree here. We got the diversity tree here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Cheers.